Hey, yo, everybody, welcome to episode 15 of the City Podcast, which is a acronym. Ooh, sexy. For Can I Trust You? I, of course, am Little 10 Pound Burrito. Right next to me is Eric, your boy. I like food. <laughs> Roman. And, of course, we got Tech Guy. It's Tony! Tony! Bam, bam, bam. I was I was debating. I went to Guitar Center today, and somebody was messing with one of the, the little things, and one of it was the. Burr, burr, burr. Burr, burr. I was like, I should probably buy it for this fucking podcast. <laughs> yes. Just for that. Why didn't you? We, yeah, we should start doing this more like a fucking uh, like a radio like show. a radio show. <laughs> Dingo and the baby. Welcome back to City Podcast. And they're just like stupid noises. Mm-hmm. Ching, ching. <laughs> why is it? I don't know why it would be a fucking money noise. It's, 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 noise. it's the giveaway, and it's just yeah. like that small part from fucking Pink Floyd's Money. Oh, yeah. It's all. I feel like we can't buy anything with buttons that make noise, or it's just going to be pushing it. That's why he's not in charge of that. That's what I do, baby. You I don't have to be buttons. in charge to fucking reach across mm-hmm. us. That's why. Slap us in the face and push the button. That's true. He don't touch that. it. You want Pop Bows? Uh, you <laughs> you, you and me, John, no. That guy's never been in a fight, so we can kick his ass real quick. Who's fighting? Ooh. I'm pressing buttons. Yeah, but we'll keep you away from the buttons. That's a hot button. But anyways, thank you for coming. <laughs> Thanks for tuning back in from our terrible rant and our terrible politics one. We're not going to be brushing up on anything politics today. Ooh. If you want to, if you really want to look up politics stuff, just go on Facebook. People yeah. are still bitching about it. Yeah, there you go. Or just any social media in general. Oh yeah, any social Twitter's, the Twatters, the mm. Instagrams. Even on even on Pornhub. I saw, I saw that. Really? Checked it up. Yeah, saw some comments on there. It said "fuck hey. Trump," and then I looked. Of course, I looked up something on "fuck Trump." <laughs> <laughs> I didn't touch myself with that long on it, mm-hmm. but that's so, why you got to go to X and XX, baby. There's no, true. there's no politics there. What do you get? You get porn. You get people saying "fuck you," she's hot, and one saying, you know, she's ugly, whatever. And then another one is like maybe Fallout Four things. One time I got, I got, I got a request to play uh, online gaming in a Pornhub thing. It's like. I'm looking for people to uh, ride together on a Call of Duty zombie maps, and I was just like, "Yeah, oh, that's in, that's that's kind of I kind of want to do that, but first I'm gonna finish watching the porn." Yeah, but <laughs> and then you never you never make an account at a free porn site. That's just that's one on one. Wait, what? <laughs> hey. I saw I saw a whole episode of Batman Begins on Pornhub. <laughs> what the really? Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> whole episode. I was like, I watched that instead. I said I hated it still, <laughs> <laughs> but it was just free. <laughs> Anyway, so I'll, I'm gonna start off this whole thing with a "Can I Trust You" story. Ooh. Might be a little, might be a little long, but this is my uh, <laughs> speaking of porn. It has nothing to do with porn. <laughs> I like to refer refer this story as my Jason Bourne story. I've never seen any of the movies. Everyone keeps telling me they're fucking good, though. <laughs> I just know that Matt Damon was fucking the shit in there. There's yeah. a lot of running. Is it? I get tired. Oh, I didn't. Oh, man, I he, get tired. he has he has a cool part where he like. Bust the uh, a gas line. A load. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he like busts the gas line and then he has a toaster and he puts like a magazine, mm-hmm. rolls it up into a toaster, and then it starts to like burn and it blows up the apartment. It's pretty good. Pretty how's, good. How does the toast come out though? Uh, no toast. All paper. <laughs> Damn it. I just looked it up and you can watch Jason Bourne on XNXX. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I know what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Doing enough Jason Bourne. This story has everything. It has uh, there's no drugs. There's alcohol. There's emotions. There's mm-hmm. police. There's a hospital. I wish there was prostitutes. <laughs> and like, me I and like me how, stealing. I like how you. I, I like how you said it has everything. But I started David shit. Right it doesn't have. Like, it doesn't have. It doesn't have this. <laughs> well, Guy this starts. One. This starts way back in the day mm-hmm. at the uh, young age of twenty four. I think it was twenty four. Oh, it's your time. life. It's not that. Yeah. It's not that long ago. Yeah, it's not that long ago. <laughs> It was during it was during my early stages of of drinking, mm-hmm. uh, and my mother used to own a bar downtown, ish mm-hmm. on the St. Mary Strip. It was called. Oh, this might be real incriminating if I keep going to deeper detail. <laughs> don't go to yeah, I don't want to go deeper <laughs> detail. Your mama owned a bar because of that one damn cop mm-hmm. who that listens. Even though we've talked about like what pedophilia here once. Yeah, once in a while. <laughs> pedophilia, marijuana. No, that was that was our that was y'all's other podcast. Two fools cheat. Oh yeah. Watch oh, yeah. we eat and we're two fools. But anyways, <laughs> I, di- I digress. Mm-hmm. Uh, how it starts is my mom used to own a bar. So I used to go over there and get free drinks 
all the time. He used to take all the cool dudes there. So it was kind of like a weird, like, slash kind of wanted to be gay bar, even though my mom's, like, sort of gay. You can't really call her gay because she had, like, four other kids. <laughs> well, I mean, that doesn't prove anything. That was four mistakes she regrets. <laughs> yeah, of course. I, Jay, I'm living the fucking life. That was four life. cover stories she took way too far. <laughs> right? Shit. She went deep, deep undercover. Yeah, she did. <laughs> and then she went deep, deep throat. <laughs> hey, Mom. <laughs> I love you. Love you. <laughs> Haven't talked to you in months. I used to go there and drink a lot. Mm-hmm. Me and her got into a, the argument of that was going on in the family. Mm-hmm. So during the night when she started closing down, I decided to take a big ass bottle of Crown with me. Mm-hmm. I was already drunk, uh, okay. high on emotions. One, one, one thing. Okay. Was it the just like a regular bottle of Jack, or was it like one of those bar bottles, like the the it was, handles? It was like the. It was uh, a like, crown. It was a regular. It was a regular bottle of Jack. Okay, so it was just like the. Well, with the, the top on it and shit. Okay, but okay. It, but through the night, it, a lot of people drank from it. Cause mm-hmm. It was a bar. People do. Yeah. And uh, there was not a whole lot there. Mm-hmm. But it was good enough for me. To, I was already fucked up, so I mean, it's <laughs> it, not like a. It, it, it's enough to progress the story. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> did, it, did it have like that little metal uh, sifting piece in it? Yeah, the easy it, board. Yeah, it did. But I took it out somewhere along the line. <laughs> this is where a, a part of the story gets real hazy mm-hmm. after a while because I was in a fucking drunk stupor. So, stupa. Stupa. What happens is, uh, I guess I fucking finished the whole damn thing of it. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened to the bottle because I figured that <laughs> when the cops eventually find me, they could trace back where the bottle came from, but they didn't. So mm, yeah. I must have got rid of it somewhere. Either way. I'm walk. I'm. I get mad. Take a whole bottle, of fucking Jack. Mm. Decide to walk down fucking St. Mary's, mm. probably downtown, drinking, being all types of one tough customer where people <laughs> don't want to mess with you. <laughs> when you have a when you have pants full of shit, no one obviously wants to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> get rid of the body. Get rid of the bottle body. Mm-hmm. I get eventually get picked up from the cops, mm. puking up a storm. I don't fucking remember shit. We at the hospital. I get my fucking stomach pumped. My second time getting my stomach bumped. Not oh. that night. Okay. <laughs> was the first time because of alcohol also? No, it was because I, I heard that little story about little Kim getting her stomach pumped because she had so much cum in her. And I was like, that's something I want to live up to. <laughs> there you go. I wonder how much cum that was. Was it like a, like a Coke can? Yeah. Oh, that's a lot no, of cum. I don't, I don't think they... Like, that's only like fucking six. That ounces. Well, I mean, that, but that's what I heard. Like, it oh, was like... It, it was a, a whole can of fucking... Coca Cola and it, that's just fucking disgusting. She drank a whole. That that's the story. Is I thought like, it was just like she was just hoeing it up. Oh well, yeah, she uh, the, she was hoeing it up. But apparently, there's one there's one story. And then again, take it with a grain of salt, like everything else. But apparently, it it's was like salty enough. It's scum. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. Maybe maybe they were they were knocking back a few fucking pina coladas. And then she got penis a lot of yeah yeah baby. But apparently, she drank like a coke can of uh, of semen. And then, so and she then dared? Some, <laughs> nah, so, I think she just wanted to do No, it. I, I think uh, it was, she was enough. just finishing off like a six pack or something. <laughs> All right, <fair> enough. <laughs> she opened it up with fucking one hand, <laughs> fucking party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> That's such fucking wait, wait. disgusting. So did she blow enough dudes for a Coke can full of cum? I like, I like to think did a bunch that. of dudes just jerk off into a Coke can because. Or just one guy's like, I have a coke maybe, can may, full of Maybe she gave him like a, like a, maybe she gave him like a little two minute, like, uh-uh-uh, like enough to get what's Damn. up. And then the fucking, just jizz in a fucking and coke can. That's <laughs> good. That's good though. Either way. Yeah. Either way. I got my stomach pump second mm-hmm. time in a row. First time happened a long time. Mm-hmm. Just handled my drink like a bitch or thought maybe I could handle more. Mm-hmm. And then second time still <laughs> thought I could handle more. <laughs> so I get my stomach pump. It's not a fucking pleasant thing. Isn't it? It's not. Basically, they fucking pump your sto- stomach like full of charcoal, and you're just like, it's painful. Yeah. Fucking hurts. It's, it's liquefied like charcoal. Char- like- yeah, oh, yeah, okay. liquid charcoal. Like, huh. just, yeah, they yeah, just, that's, that's what it is. Fucking- I didn't try that. Apparently, so, it tastes like shit. Which yeah, it does. I imagine it would. I'm pretty uh, sure you don't go in for the taste. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so they pump my stomach, and I'm too like fucking out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, the police officers, I guess, they let me fucking stay there for the time being. They're like. As soon as this fucker wakes up, hauling his ass in. We were gonna take him to the big house. For what? Alcatraz. 
dr- uh, intoxicated. Be, yeah, and they're gonna take it to California. Yeah, <laughs> this, this guy's going to Alcatraz. <laughs> First prisoner in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> just alone in the prison. Fuck. <laughs> gonna call me drunks, just... drunks Malone. Yeah, but and then uh, you know Nicholas Cage is also. gonna come in, and so is. Uh, Sean Connery. Sean Connery. And then they're gonna. Oh shit! They, <laughs> they're they're gonna put a virus in your mouth and fucking uppercut you and you'll die. Oh man, that sounds awesome. <laughs> but, uh, so as as I'm laying in, as I'm laying in the fucking bed, like they give me the fucking ropes too. They didn't even let me just hang out in my street clothes. They fucking take me. I guess they're gonna take me in with fucking like the fucking gown. Uh, the oh, gown with your oh, ass hanging out. But ass naked and shit. <laughs> well, as I wake up, as I'm coming to like. I can hear the two officers talking. They're kind of waiting outside my room. Mm-hmm. And one of the guys, like, they're, they're talking. He's like, dude, I'm fucking hungry. We should just get something. We should go to the cafeteria real quick, get mm-hmm. something. I don't know why. He's like, didn't take shifts. So I'll get something for you. But I guess motherfucker was super lonely mm-hmm. and wanted his buddy to come with him. <laughs> come on, bro. Come on, man. I mean, he was going to show him something cool on the phone, and he was just like, yeah. I can't do it here. Not come on, here. dude. I have nudes. <laughs> Maybe they were going to get coke cans full of cum. <laughs> dude, they got coke cans full of cum downstairs. We need to get on this train right now. Maybe they had the video of you throwing. I was like, man, look at this little bitch throwing up. Yeah, so much <laughs> cool. Like, so he, he's telling him, I was like, let's just get something real quick. It's just right downstairs. Mm-hmm. We'll be back up, back up. This dude's been crashed out almost fucking all this time. Mm-hmm. It was another couple minutes. Yeah. The guy's like, nah, nah. Come on, bitch. Give me the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half hungover, so maybe mm-hmm. the words are not <laughs> as clear. <laughs> Finally convinces the other dude. Yeah. They're like, you know, all right. They tell one of the nurses and shit, like, hey, this dude wakes up, you know. Mm-hmm. Hold him here. We'll, we'll be right back. Just yeah. keep an eye on him. Mm-hmm. So they, uh. The nurse wasn't angry when she was like, don't fucking tell me what to do. I've been working here for 20 years. I ain't babysitting nobody. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, she just had, like, an injection ready to fucking kill me. <laughs> Give this dude a nice dose She's of murder. Nurse Ratchet from fucking <laughs> One Flow of the Cuckoo's Nest. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they leave. And I slowly kind of start thinking to myself, like, I need to fucking get out of here. I'm in fucking trouble. For Surprisingly, they didn't handcuff me to the fucking bed. I don't know if this is, like, rookie cops first time on the beat to do anything off the book, off the books here. Mm-hmm. Well, when you, get your stomach pump, when you get your stomach pumped, don't they lay you on your side? Huh? They lay you on your side to, when you get your stomach pumped, don't, don't they? While it's pumping? Yeah. Yes. So then, how are they gonna? They like I guess, again. Well, ha- hazy details from yeah. this guy. <laughs> so like, they wouldn't be able to handcuff you to the bed if if they have you laying on your side. I guess they probably just didn't cuff you after you were done. I suppose so. I mean, Maybe. is that like a normal thing, or is that just like a movie thing? What the handcuffing to the bed? Yeah. yeah. That could like be that could thing. be just a, movie, be a movie thing, thing. <laughs> <laughs> because there could be just like the cops outside. Like, why is he? <laughs> where is he gonna go? Like, do they expect to shoot out every time? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, they're like. <laughs> I, I like to I like to think they just looked at me and this was like this guy's a bitch. He ain't fucking. Yeah. Yeah. See how much Jack was. Did she fucking thing? see? Yeah. yeah, I'm surprised. Hey. I, it's probably not even about Jack. It's probably just a thing of Smirnoff. <laughs> bitch could strawberry kiwi took this little pussy down. This dude drank too many Zimas. How yeah. many apple teenies did he drink? Mm, he's so cute though. Let's kiss him on his mouth. <laughs> so they leave and uh, I'm thinking to myself like I need to get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. I'm not fucking cuffed. Mm-hmm. So. Try to get out of bed, and I was like fucking baby giraffe legs. Like, <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can barely get up. But the power, away. the power of not wanting to go to fucking jail. A guy like me going to jail, I'm too pretty, man. That's true. <laughs> I'm not saying I get a boyfriend off the bat, but I'm, you'll be, you'll be passed around. I'm gonna be, I don't have options. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Latin kings sound cool. But I really want to try it again inside the Aryan Brotherhood. I heard they got a badass dental plan. <laughs> <laughs> I got to look after number one. So I get, fucking get up, kind of start like shambling about, see if I can find clothes. I ain't find shit. Kind of, kind of try to scope out the fucking area, see if anyone's paying attention. I easily like sneak out of the door into the room next over. Okay. And you know how some of the fucking, uh, some of the, the rooms have like, little other rooms like bathrooms for people mm-hmm. who try to stay the night and shit like that yeah, yeah. well there was somebody else there and uh, maybe they had cancer I don't know I like to think they have cancer I like to think a lot of people <laughs> have cancer <laughs> but there's a pile of fucking clothes uh-huh. right next to the fucking bathroom someone in the showers I guess whatever it was like early in the fucking morning mm-hmm. first thing I do fucking swipe like it's like gray sweatpants with a long t-shirt <laughs> I swipe that shit mm-hmm. 
and I try to like sh- have to like shamble right out of the fucking hospital. <laughs> Go to the fucking uh, elevator, get out somehow. Yeah. Like a fucking badass. <laughs> Snap some people's necks. I didn't snap no one's necks. You should probably just walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poorly. No one fucking stopped me at all. I mean, you see someone like in just fucking baggy ass clothes walking around the hospital, you start asking questions? No. No, I assume you're a crackhead. <laughs> yeah. Shit, Maybe it was a psych war. Uh, quick question. Yeah. Is this when you had your long, beautiful hair? Uh, No. No, no. Oh, okay. But it was probably in the process of growing. Uh, all right. Yeah, so it was like in that weird, awkward, like... Uh, the the Beatles, mom haircut, <laughs> Beatles Bob kind of oh, stuff going okay, okay. on. <laughs> yeah, he, he would have gone. He would have gone past the yeah. yeah. Hey, don't rape me, fucking bum. Now that's how. That's how Stick it in my gosh. <laughs> Stick. Yeah, I don't want to tell him that. <laughs> Stick it in me black cherry gosh. All right, all right. So I <laughs> shamble. <laughs> I I shamble. I shamble out mm-hmm. out of there. I was able to leave. Fucking downtown. Have no idea. Have fucking no money on me. Oh yeah, that's right. I left my fucking wallet as I left my. I can always leave well, crucial details. I've been thinking about this whole yeah, time. Like, I no. left, your yeah, ID? they should have my ID. Well, no, I left all my fucking like my wallet and my IDs at, at my at the, my mom's bar, so I didn't fucking oh. have shit on me. Smart move. Yeah, <laughs> that was that wasn't smart. That was just <laughs> you know, no, maybe something that just happened. Yeah, it was fucking. That was just dumb luck. So they had that. So I didn't have any fucking cash on me or nothing like that. And I'm just so fucking tired and beat from that Throwing fucking up. night. Yeah. So basically what I do is I just I just bum it. I just bum it downtown. I mean, I already have the sweatpants and all the shirts and everything. So mm-hmm. I, that's what I do. You blend in. Yeah, I blend in perfectly. I Did you have it. shoes on? No. Thanks, to the, thanks no. to the clothes, he had also he also had lice. True. <laughs> out, of, out of one. Out of one, getting out of the fire into it, into something else. So I just basically bum it downtown, just try to fucking survive, I guess. Mm-hmm. Didn't fucking eat it all. The next day, it's like Sunday now. Mm-hmm. I stop and I'm like, fuck, I really need, to, I really need to get home now. Mm-hmm. I need to get home some somehow. No one heard, no one heard from me. I have no way to contact anybody. Okay. So I start to my natural thief instincts start kicking in. <laughs> I stole someone's prepaid phone. <laughs> okay. Stole someone's prepaid phone. Got some change. I was able to hop a bus mm-hmm. all the way home. I leave like in the morning. I don't get home till like eleven o'clock at night. My old roommate mm-hmm. who I was living with, as soon as I walk in the fucking house, she's like, Where the fuck have you been? Like no one knows where the fuck you were. Mm-hmm. I have work calling you, you didn't show up to work. <laughs> and I'm just like, it's fucking I'm too tired right now. I don't wanna talk about this. Go straight to go, go straight to my room. It's great. Nice. Next day, I have to go and explain to basically like management why I didn't show up. They're like, "Where the fuck were you?" I was like, "Uh, I got al- I got alcohol poisoning, then my stomach pump, and I had to basically hang out downtown for two days." That shut down. They were mad at me. I didn't get written up for nothing. Nice. In fact, I, I got a high five for it. <laughs> <laughs> was this National Outdoors? Yeah, it was National Outdoors. <laughs> Plus, I got away with a lot of shit at National Outdoors, man. I once time, I one time told a lady who asked for a military discount. I told her we don't have it, and she's like, "I'm, I'm a daughter of a military, whatever." She got so annoying. I called her a fucking freeloader. I was like, That's what she <laughs> was. A daughter of a military yeah. person. I told her, I was like, I was like, well, basically all you are is fucking glorified welfare. She got fucking mad. <laughs> How's she gonna get a military discount? She ain't military. Yeah, exactly. That's fucking bullshit. You know, I do feel bad though telling like people in the military that mm-hmm. we don't offer any military discount, mm-hmm. especially at an army surplus store. Yeah, it is strange. Uh, and when like at the comic book shop too, mm-hmm. like when people ask me. Yeah, we gotta tell them like no, but I don't. Well, but then again, that that doesn't really. I mean, not everybody does that, and I don't think everybody really should. I mean, it's it, it's a nice gesture, yeah. But I don't think you should sacrifice maybe your business for just to give, uh, you know, a discount to as many people. San Antonio specifically, yeah. You know, is you know a uh, uh, ah, yeah we're. Big yeah, exactly. and then they don't just you don't just get a military uh, ID by being in the military. If you just work on base, you're just a civilian working on base. Well, I didn't get it. I didn't get a. I didn't get that. I was a contractor for Lackland. I was a cafeteria lady. 
I didn't get that at all. <laughs> you didn't get one? No, I didn't get one. I, I love how you just call yourself a cafeteria, cafeteria lady. lady. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I was a, caf- I was a cafeteria lady. Yes, yeah. yeah. And I was, I was a contract. That's it. I, got, I mean, I got a badge to get in, but I didn't get no ID or nothing like that. So I couldn't really buy anything, even though I wanted to buy a lot of shit, because we were like right next to this mall. And they, I forgot what the call was. I called it like the BX. But yeah, I, always, yeah, yeah. I always kept thinking it was called the BMX, so I thought it was people <laughs> like riding bikes everywhere. I, li- I like things on base. Uh, they have everything on there, dude. They it's, got like, uh, you know, Wendy's and Burger King. and Join the military. Station. You can get on base. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably lose weight, too. Yeah. Uh, I'm good. I got my hook up and gave me in there already, so, you know. We'll oh, always taking the easy way out. Good job, Barrett. Everyone loves hookups, man. That's how I got that sweet two bottles of Crown from last time. From base. Yeah, dude. On base. Either way. Oh, what, was, what what did you leave off? Oh, I think I pretty much summed it all up, you know. Huh? Can you trust the... Can you trust not to trust, 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 trust those fucking cops? Don't tell those fucking cops what I did. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Find those same two cops. Pretty yeah, much, it's probably his friend. Much, don't, don't let him drink. Fair enough. <laughs> pretty much. But what I'm, what I'm just fucking surprised is like, what kind of fucking cops do this? How <laughs> bad? Cops. Yeah, maybe. Or you know, San Antonio cops. They don't give a fuck though. I think the moral of the story is don't drink from an already opened can of Coke. <laughs> that's think, true. I think that's, that's and it's good, and we'll good. and we'll end we'll end that right there. <laughs> this has been City Podcast. <laughs> City Podcast episode fifteen. Can't uh, stop that. <laughs> Call can, it a night. Can, can of cum coke. Mm. <laughs> that's the title. Oh wait, was that Rod Stewart? If you want what? a can Coke. Apparently, Rod's, there, there's the same rumor, and I don't know if I'm mixing it up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right? Yeah, yeah I'm not the only one that fucking heard wait. that. <laughs> I haven't heard anything. What? Apparently, someone thought his body was sexy. They thought, well, how's that song go? Yeah, if, yeah. They, if you want my body, <laughs> yeah. you think I'm sexy. Come, Come and bring me a can of Coke. Come. <laughs> The only rumor I heard was that Marilyn Manson cut off his bottom two ribs so he could blow himself. Yeah. But there's also the Richard Gere with the gerbil yeah, at the butt. Oh, uh, yeah, the gerbil <laughs> at the butt. That you never, never heard, heard that? No. Richard Gere was taken to the hospital because he had a gerbil up his ass. What? Was- Eminem made a song about it. Uh, did he? So did Stephen Lynch. Oh, I haven't heard that name before. Shove a gerbil up your ass through a tube, through a tube. Uh, that's not the song, but... That's the Eminem song. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought that... It sounded like a Stephen Lynch song. Now. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it's, it's the Eminem song. It doesn't like Eminem at all. Are you sure it's Eminem? Yes, it's Eminem. Yeah, yeah. Is, it, is it Eminem the, name the rapper, of the... or is it... Is it, is it no, it's... A it, guy named M and No, M-M. bitch, it's fucking Marshall Mathers, Eminem. Right. It's on the now. album Curtain Call. It's the hidden track at the end. It's oh, my God, fuck. this guy got... <laughs> fuck. I fucking love Eminem. <laughs> oh, all right, calm down now, I, girl. Shit. I hated Eminem, but I think I... Might like him if I actually listened to some of his music. I don't see why not. I, I remember listening to like an album, probably with y'all two, and I was like, oh, okay, this is good, but I never really. I've had almost every album. No, I haven't. <laughs> but no, yeah, yeah, for no. for being white, he's just so much better than all them fucking illiterate niggers trying to rap. <laughs> oh, Jesus yeah. Christ, <laughs> fucking John. It's okay to say because Chop won now. It's true, you did. I thought there that, was no political jumbo, yeah, mumbo no, jumbo here. No, no political. It, it had, it had to be said. Hashtag Trump that bitch. <laughs> Cover by the pussy. Yeah. God. Hashtag my wife's hotter than yours. I hate all of you. I don't have a wife. Hashtag. <laughs> hashtag. Ouch. I know. <laughs> hashtag. Oh, so lonely. Hashtag. <laughs> Yeah, too much hashtag. Well, why why do people like using hashtags? I don't know. I rem- I remember back in my day when the hashtag used to be known as the pound symbol. Yeah, pound it, yeah. pound that pound, pound hashtag. Pound back pound. in my day, that was tic tac toe. Ooh, that <laughs> was tic tac toe. Yeah. No, no I mean, shit. still, it's still technically tic tac toe. Still tic tac toe. <laughs> but I mean, it, 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 ha- it has yeah. multiple uses. <laughs> it's not just the hashtag. When, now. When's the last time you played tic tac toe? Uh, I just uh, played last week. Against with the kid, uh, uh, with the friend, we were video chatting, and you could write on the thing, and we were playing fucking tic tac toe. Oh, I've done that. I've done that through text. Yeah, see. But no, it was Connect Four. Never mind. That you were with me, and then you just fell <laughs> off, and I'm just like, this is why you don't drink. Mm. Drink is bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I miss the times of drinking. Have I ever told you about uh the first time I drank? No, no. It I... was a good time. It was a good time. Nine years old. You put it on one of the podcasts. Oh, yeah. wait. Was it the margarita one with the slushy? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Damn. I'm so, like, I kind of want a margarita just because now I think it was slushies. <laughs> I had a slush today, and now. <laughs> why don't yeah, you just. just oh, okay. I was just like, why don't yeah. you just have a slush? I did have an icy today. That was pretty good. I've been wanting one. 
We can get one after the, the podcast. Don't worry about it. Go to open? Taco Cabana. What, a margarita or a slushy? Oh, margaritas. Oh, okay. I thought oh. we were talking about slushies now. Yeah, I thought we were talking about margaritas. I thought we were talking about slushies. I was like, I'm down. I was like, I was like what's open that has a slushie right 7-Eleven. Now? That's Welcome, right. Welcome to Plan Cast, where we just plan our night. I did... Uh, because I, I, I fucking love Icy so much, but no one ever has the one flavor I fucking want. Strawberry? No, the the white, like the white cherry, white cherry. one. Cherry. I had to drive all the way to Bucky's to get it. No, you don't. They have it at uh, Ingram Park Mall and the pretzel stand. I found out they have it at Target as well. They have oh, it at yeah. the Mayan. But Wait. I didn't know that, oh, yeah. so I drove all the way to fucking Bucky's to get <laughs> white cherry. Did you get beef jerky while you was there? No, I didn't. Sinner. That was a wasted trip. Yeah, yeah it was. I don't even think I finished the icy. <laughs> he took a sip and just threw it out the window. I'm that kind of guy. I'm, I'm all about the journey. Uh, you, know, you know why you went to Bucky's? Because you're uppity. You didn't know the Ingram Mall had it. Or Target. Oh, yeah, I did not know. Even though I went to Tar- Target a lot to get wine. That's it, though. Man, uh, you know what? Fuck Target. I was looking for that uh, mini NES. And they said... Well, dude, everyone's looking for that right you, now. You go mm-hmm. online and they say, we have it in the store. You go to the fucking store and they don't have it. It's because you're slow as fuck. Probably. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I got up on Friday and I called two targets. I woke up way too late. And they were like, yeah, we're sold out. We only got like three to five in. So this this just came out not too long ago. And this came out on Friday. It, oh, it was no a wonder. Friday release. I thought this was already out already. No. 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 It, it had been previewed, uh, previewed a lot. Yeah. You know, IGN, it. all that kind of stuff. Huh. But it came out Friday. And I personally woke up and I called Target just to see, like, hey, is there possible you can hold one? Because I have a friend that works at Target, the 151. He was like, I'm not at work today, but let me call them and I can see if I can hold it for you. I was like, sweet. And he, he texted me. He meant your cock. Yeah. Like, hey, come on. I'll just give that out anymore. I'm a changed man. Yeah, you found got now. bills to pay. Oh. Yeah, I need money. Oh, <laughs> give me money for cock. Money. <laughs> I mean, like, give me money for my cock, not. Just give me money for cock. <laughs> we're gonna get a, we're gonna get a bunch of messages. Yeah, like, hey, we're gonna start a they're gonna start a Patreon for me. <laughs> Just like get money for cock. You get it. He's um, like, it's the grossest blowjobs you could ever get. Ooh, yeah. it's so sloppy. <laughs> Anyways, so about this, little about this, sloppy. <laughs> yeah, about this mini NES thing. Yeah. What's uh, so What's so appealing about it besides it being mini? It has thirty like thirty of like the best-selling games on it you know it the, the two zeldas so the this super is, mario's all this that is nostalgia stuff. this is just a glorified like those little emulators that have the sticks in them yeah you, you can probably get uh one that's sort of like it at like a family dollar i know that family dollar they have a genesis type thing Flea where you can play a whole bunch of genesis stuff Flea marketing you can get the ones that comes with like 100 games and they're all pretty much the same really yeah, yeah. I, I mean honestly i wanted it just so you know just so I, you got it no, no, no. Honestly, I wanted it because I want to play these games, but I don't have that type of money, and if I can get all those games for $60, that's fine. Plus I, it, I would love to play that. Okay. Plus, it looks cool as fuck. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a small it's NES. Just, yeah. It's just a small NES. I mean, I have an NES uh, with both Zeldas, but I don't have anything <laughs> else. You know what I mean? I want to... You can't afford it. <laughs> I can't afford... Th- fuck no, I can't afford 30 plus games. Not like that. Battletoads. You know what they did, though? I think they released it because, like, that uh, Pokemon thing. What was that called? What? That Pokemon Watch for Pokemon Poke Go? Plus. Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, Poke the Poke Plus. Thing. Yeah, they released, yeah. like, maybe a small amount, and people were going crazy for them, paying, like, 100 and something for them online. Dude, I mean, that, yeah. that's something Nintendo always does, though. Like, Amiibos? Yeah. It, well, I mean, the, the thing is, for some, I don't know if Nintendo does this uh purposely purposely where they're like we're gonna set a set amount we're gonna make people go crazy and then we're gonna re- we're gonna do a, a another batch oh we're gonna only put out uh, 50 of them <laughs> exactly and then play a totally stupid or if uh, or the other side of it and is they that they're they're thinking like oh it's ju- it's such a neat like a, a niche audience like such a small audience that wants this no, no, they're no, no, only gonna you, make a few if you talk like nintendo you gotta do japanese voice it's just such a, a niche audience that uh, that we we don't care. Oh, no, we don't. We we hate. It. <laughs> we so hate. Racist. We hate the people we make shit for. <laughs> but I mean, it could be that they just they they underestimated. You know, again, it it happens so many fucking times. But it's happened so many times with Nintendo that it's like it can't be a mistake at this point. Yeah, you're you're, you're just doing shit on purpose. you're doing the shit on purpose. Yeah. Hear that? Hear that? Fuck Nintendo. Fuck you. We know you. I love you. Oh, yeah. The crappy thing mm-hmm. about the the mini is that if a uh, Target only had like three to five uh, minis, mm. um, that 
three to five people did not buy that. One person bought those and is now selling them on eBay oh, for two hundred. No, bucks. no, a, a lot of them already had stated they already knew they were getting such limited quantities. And when any store has such limited quantities, it's like no one per person. Because I I went to Best Buy when they opened and there was a line all around. Yeah, but one per person. What? Yeah, they, they had like maybe like ten or something, and the, I I saw an article on Kotaku, of course. Um, and it said, you know, Best Buy is not doing, uh, buy now, pick up at store. Um, but that's what people were doing. And the people at Best Buy were like, well, I mean, they already have their receipt basically for paying for it. They're just picking it up. I guess they implemented that rule after these people did that. Hmm. And then on the same Kotaku article, they were like, oh, Amazon is going to have some as well. They're going to go on sale at 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. So 4 p.m. Central Spe- Time. Specific time? Exactly. I, just, I just realized I got an email from Best Buy. Mm-hmm. They're like, hey, card holder, you could uh, buy this NES. And I was like, oh, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I would have used you. <laughs> just gotten yeah, it. Well, but nah. But uh, I was, I, this is probably a, a, a bad thing to say. Black people are dumb? No. <laughs> I was driving. Was right. I, I, I was I was driving uh, at work. I'm a, I'm a truck driver, so I was driving to New Braunfels so I can deliver Lennon to a hospital. And I ran and over a fired. kid. Well, <laughs> while, while I was while I was driving, I had my phone in my hand with the Amazon app open, just like oh, refreshing shit. at like every every chance I had, every two seconds refreshing it. To see if I can get one. I and endangered all your lives. I, just so had, I endangered many. so many lives, <laughs> including my own. Yeah, Amazon sold out real quick. They sold yeah. out like in three minutes or something. It Jesus. was ridiculous. But, um, I mean, Nintendo's already said that they're they're making more and more no, in no, production. Say, say in Nintendo's voice. We are making more. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> we could buy on eBay for 200 right now. There, nice. There's people that are asking up to... 1300 for it. Yep. Yeah. Saw one. A- asking. Now, what they've actually gotten for them, I don't know. We can check that in a little bit. But, actually, while we're on the topic of games, mm. we did not get an email. Because people don't like us. It's true. Oh, wow. but, why don't you love us? But, you know, while we're on the subject of the email, yeah. go ahead, send us an email about anything you want. Any topic you want talked about, anything at all. Tell us we suck, you're, we're good, whatever. Somebody did tell us we suck with the thumbs down. Mm-hmm. Thank you, guy. Thank we're, you for that thumbs down, actually. We yeah. really appreciate that. Keeps yeah. us, it keeps us humble. It keeps yeah. us humble. Keeps yeah, because we, 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 no, we were on top of the world. <laughs> we're crap. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, go ahead and send us an email, citypod88 at gmail.com. Citypod88 at gmail.com. Now, we didn't get an email, but I did get a direct text from Trent. Did yeah. we? Yes, we did. Do we put out? Do we give out his number? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, Hold on. Wait, before, before we say, it, should, should we start the uh, the official Trent Power? Was it Trent, Trent Power Hour? The Trent Dick Sucking Power Hour. Yeah. Where we all where we all say one thing that we love about Trent and hate about everybody else. <laughs> How they'll never live up to the standard. Uh, I'll start that off. I like okay. that he's Trent, and I hate that everybody else isn't Trent. <laughs> <laughs> Get down, John. Um, his eyes are beautiful. And what? Yes. And what do you hate about about people? They get to see his beauty. Um, I just hate people, but I don't hate Trent. <laughs> mm. so, strong words so from Trent. an unstrong man. <laughs> Roman. Uh, I like his beard, man. I can't grow a beard like that, and I, I hate everybody that has a better beard than me. Except Trent. Mark. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one thing that I really love about Trent is that when he gets the chance to let me bask in the beauty that is him, mm-hmm. it's like two souls become one. We're married now. <laughs> We're married. <laughs> I'm sorry, Trent. <laughs> what I. Wife. Oh yeah, sorry, Trent's wife, who I don't even recognize. <laughs> As it's not even a good. It's, it's You're just, not a person. Yeah. <laughs> I don't recognize your marriage in the state of. So what, what what you love is is Trent's beauty. What you hate is his wife. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's nice. Should have been us. Yeah, she's actually. Good. She's, she's, yeah, she's very good. nice, actually. Yeah, the one but, time that I've met her. But. All right. Well, and he does have a nice butt. 
end of end of that power hour. <laughs> okay. Unless Tony wants to say something, Tony. I don't know the guy, so. All right, well, fuck you. Yeah, true beauty. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, Trent sent me a text, and he has a few things about video games. Actually, he goes, Such yeah, it's it's a, a two parter about video games. Hmm. Uh, what? Okay, hold on. What ever video games y'all are playing right now? Or what are y'all looking forward to? And he goes, I can't wait for Berserk and Persona 5. Oh, so those yeah, are his. He does Berserk. Oh, what are we playing right now and what are we looking forward to? Yeah. I mean, I'm right now I'm playing Destiny like I always <laughs> do. But I have been playing a lot of Overwatch as well. I've been enjoying that a lot. And I have Skyrim and I'm going to play that soon. As for what I'm looking forward to, probably Horizon next year. What is Horizon. Horizon's kind of like this. It's from Guerrilla Guerrilla Games, which is the band. The, no, Guerrilla as in Guerrilla Fighter. All right. Anyways, um, it's a uh, it's a open world RPG where you're like some red haired uh, chick. Oh, is that boat. the one I shared with you on Facebook that one time? About yeah. The machine dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. It's like machines have like infected like uh, like animal life. And they're like malforming into like weird things, and you're trying to figure out like what, why did this happen? It, it's it's so far in the future that you're you're born so far in the future that you don't know any of why this happened, and it's a journey and figuring out how that yourself? is. Sort of, yeah. yeah. But I mean, it just it looks fucking beautiful, mm. and okay. it looks it the, the gameplay actually looks really smooth, fluid. She uses arrows and different type of arrows. Mm. Arrows on arrows, John. Um, I am playing. Uh, Destiny with Roman and Eric, but um, I've been really heavily into the Skyrim remaster. Um, I'm pretty much taking everything I ever did wrong on the original and not doing that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm so like, you just, so you're just pretty much replaying the game? Yes. Okay. But I'm better at it. What are you What are you looking forward to? Um, I'm. There's actually the game that I'm looking forward to is already out. I just I'm poor, so I haven't bought it yet. Um, but Titanfall 2. Oh, is that out already? Yes, it's out. Yeah. It came out last, actually, I think. The 28th of October. The 28th of October. Huh. So, two weeks ago. Hmm. Huh, did not know that. We knew something today. Just oh, what am I playing right now? Uh, Destiny, Overwatch, Gears of War 4, which looks really nice. Just haven't finished playing it. What am I looking forward to? Destiny 2. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Nothing really. I... I can't think of a game that I'm looking forward to right now. Life is not worth looking forward to. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3. Ew. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big Kingdom always, Hearts fan. There's, there's always the ones that are, you know, coming out for like fucking two or three years or still in production or some shit like, you know, King, Kingdom Hearts and Destiny 2, sure, mm. but nothing, no, for, yeah. nothing for this holiday season. Not okay, even Pokemon Sun and Moon? Which is coming out this Friday. Uh, not mm. really. Like, I was into it and then I just kind of forgot about it. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll probably get it, to be honest with you, but... Yeah. Been in a weird mindset about games right now, so... Fair mm-hmm. enough. Everybody goes to those times. I'm playing Clash Royale on my phone. Playing what? Clash Royale? Okay. Clash Royale. Is that, that's the name of it. Is that, is that like... Name of it? That's the name of it. Is that, cla- yeah. is that Clash of Clans or something? Yeah, but it's like... It's like a 1v1 where you take down like three towers and it's, it's like card-based. It's card-based. Card yeah. yeah. So. Overwatch, because it's beautiful. See, um, I would want to really play Overwatch, but I'm too burnt out on... Sh- like first person shooters. I think I would play it like if it had like a really good story. It story mode. It, it, well, it has it has a good Overwatch it has a good it's a bad game. It has a good <laughs> backstory if mm-hmm. you look to the lore, but I want to play through a fucking story though. And let me interject that there has been a report by IGN that it's been rumored and strongly rumored yeah. that a Rumor PVE a, a PVE mode is coming to Overwatch. What is PVE? Player uh, versus environment. Player versus environment, like story mode. I thought it was but, player versus everyone. Yeah, that's what I thought too. That's yeah, environment. <laughs> uh, it's the environment that the creators of the game put mm. you in. That's what it means. Um, but uh, apparently there's going to be a sort of raid system, which is really fucking cool because I love raids. I love them on Destiny. I'm pretty sure if I played fucking WoW, I'd be all over that raid scene. But I like yeah. raves. Because mm. of music. And of course, you know, I'm music. waiting for Pokemon to the moon. Mm. Ooh, I'm waiting for Marvel vs. Capcom 4. That's not You never know. Yet. Stop. That's not It even, could happen. That's not even, That's like barely a rumor. It's going to happen. It's a whisper. I don't, I don't even know. It's, it's maybe an idea that somebody has. It's going to happen. But I don't even think it's an idea from Capcom. It's going to happen. It was a fart. If, if it does, it I'm, I'm completely fine with that. But it really doesn't matter. 
you you come back to this podcast and be like, Tony was right. It happened. Marvel's I'll, I'll never say that, but I'll just of say, course. hey, Marvel's Capcom 4 is coming out. That's all I'll say. What about, what about you, Mark? What are you Me, playing? What are you doing? I, I haven't played really any game right now. I was playing a... He's playing life yeah, and was, sucking bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I scored sucking. Uh, I was playing a Fallout 4. Okay. I've been wanting to play that game so much. Or was playing Fallout 4. Like, I was so into wanting to play this game. Mm -hmm. But now, since they added this whole fucking thing where you can collect scrap and then turn it into shit where you can make better weapons and Mm -hmm. armor. Like crafting. That's all I'm doing now. Like, instead of enjoying the game, (laughs) I'm now a fucking hoarder getting all the junk, trying to just get... And I have so much stuff, too. Mm -hmm. I have, like, so much screws and copper and everything that I can actually make something. Mm-hmm. But now, like, uh, I stop and like, oh, no, no, I might need this. Mm-hmm. I might need this. It mm-hmm. seems like you in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Actually, uh, if you're if you want to play Fallout Four, I believe if you're like a GameStop Pro member, they're gonna be having a no. sale uh, sometime next week or I think next week. Or in two weeks or something, uh, where you can actually get Fallout for like thirty bucks, and you can get like Doom for fifteen. So if you like Bethesda games, you can get a sale on them. Oh yeah, I do. Oops. Oh, I just heard that Dishonored came out too. Dishonored I heard, I've heard Dishonored a lot too. of good shit about that. that. Looked, yeah. the, it looks pretty good. If as there was, a trailer. if there was ever good, a but... successor to the game Thief, and apparently mm-hmm. I heard that game's fucking great too. Like mm-hmm. Dishonored Two is supposed to be on par. Actually, wasn't Thief kind of like a spinoff of Assassin's Creed? No, no, no. Thief no. was like this original Spe- stealth game. Speaking of games that you might have missed, Trent's second question revolves around that. Oh. And it's related question. Is there a game the group never got to play, like from PS1 or something that they missed a window on? And you're saying Thief was might have been that for you? Thief? Well, I hear that Thief's supposed to be like a really good game. Mm. That and maybe Deus Ex, because I actually heard that it gives you like actual variety. I heard that Deus Ex was good, and then the second one, that, or the, the recent one that just came out, um, it got really, really complicated for a lot of people, but they, it, it's what people heard, wanted from that game. I heard they simplified it too much. And they, they didn't give you like good options. Because with Deus Ex, mm-hmm. like you had a chance to either be super techy, mm-hmm. uh, stealthy, mm-hmm. going guns a blazing, like. No matter how the game progressed, you were able to uh, do it in your own fashion. Okay. I don't think I missed out on it. I just didn't want to play it. Yeah. <laughs> one of the ones I wanted to play but never had chance is the Bioshock ones. Yeah, that too. I never played it. Yeah, yeah. I missed Bio- out on yeah that, that is one of the ones like that, that I missed. The last one that came out that looks all steampunk. Mm-hmm. I really wanted to play that and just... Never did. <laughs> you might like that one. It was is that the American one where everyone's yeah. like super racist? You might like that, John. I think there's a George Washington in there that's a robot. Because I was playing yeah. Call of Duty when mm-hmm. it came out. I was like, I'd rather play COD. Okay, fair enough. Oh, which COD came out too. Yeah. Maybe. The Infinite Infinite Warfare came out last week, uh, along with the COD remaster. So Is it good though? Are you enjoying it? I'm I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would, but it's still just kind of a regular COD game. If you if you've played more recent ones, it's the same thing. Are you guys giving the zombies a chance yet? No, I have not. How about you? I got to level two and stopped and went to the remaster and loved it so much. Yeah, the remaster is. He good. got to level two and then he got scared. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, <I'm>, voice. <laughs> uh, the re- I just don't like the remaster. It's it's. You I mean, the fucking Infinite Warfare. I yeah. just don't like it. It's not fun for me um i know roman said he had fun with it for me it was just like yeah. like with all these mechanics the way they're trying to do it mm-hmm. i'd rather just play destiny you really play Titanfall fall too oh man i want to play Titanfall fall too so bad i played the beta and i man. loved it a lot of people are, are shit there it's not doing well uh in terms of sales for, well, I mean, for the EA. first one but but they they they, f- they fucked up because they, they released it. They released it between uh battlefield one which everybody fucking loves that game right now and Call of Duty, which maybe not people are liking, but they're fucking buying it anyway. And Skyrim came out the same week. Exactly. So, so it it just you, it had, had, you had games had with diehard fan bases. Yeah, but but I mean stiff. they maybe they just had to release something because they're working on a they're actually working on a Star Wars game, I think. Mm. As you know, it's hard to play multiple games. It is. Oh, like God, I've, tell I've me about it. I've been Overwatch, and I don't play Gears of War, but. I'd rather just sit down and play Overwatch. Yeah, but... I, but uh, I, I went that week um, without playing Skyrim. I mean, Skyrim. Uh, Destiny, because mm-hmm. I was, my work schedule was so fucked up. And uh, they, me and Eric were supposed to be right around the same uh, light level because of the the new drops were all coming in at, at a light level that was higher than both of us. So mm-hmm. 
we were supposed to get to that new light level really quickly, and I fell behind him by 10 points, which is really a lot in light. And, like, if you stop playing a game for a few days, a week, you just you fall behind hard. Yeah. Uh, but if you want to hear more about Destiny, we have a Destiny-related podcast, Three Opponents Down. Go ahead and check that out every Friday. On TBS. <laughs> <laughs> But Trent, we appreciate you for sending that text. We you can also <laughs> should we give out your number if other people want to text you? Five 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 five, five, five. five. Roman's phone. <laughs> five 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 five. five. No, what's, the, what's the number? Eight six seven three five three oh nine. Two three seven two seventeen eighteen thirteen. Hut hut. <laughs> but thank you, Trent, for sending in that text. Yes, we thank do you. always appreciate you, obviously, from our Trent Dick Sucking Power <laughs> Hour. Hey, we'll, we'll continue it as long as you yeah, uh, be, email us be a or, segment. or text us. <laughs> but, That's going to be another podcast. <laughs> yeah. Trent, play Warhammer with me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I kind of want to start playing Warhammer now. Yeah. Uh, three of us, at least, uh, play or two of us play Warhammer. Two of us are interested in Warhammer. Maybe that's something that we can... We can start something. Maybe we can start something there. Well, maybe Trent will, will join us on that. Yeah, maybe we'll talk about it next time. All right. But until then, we appreciate you for listening. This has been episode 15 yeah. of the Schmitty Schmod Schmashed, mm-hmm. uh, which is always a schmacker mem. For Schman I Schmushed You. For Schman I Schmushed You. I'm so angry. Such daggers. He said acronym. <laughs> I'm supposed to say acronym. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You fat whore. But uh, but thanks thanks for listening. If you hate what you like, like us. See what I'm saying? That's, like, that's the first psychology. I, I, I got it. If not, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Show your show your moms or show police officers. There you That'd go. Be great. Show them Grimworks Productions. Uh, yeah, this, this has been a Grimworks production. And if you're interested in checking out anything else in the channel, we do have uh, some Pokemon stuff. We have three opponents down with. Roman John and Eric, or check out Two Fools to Eat, where we talk about food and mm. young women. <laughs> <laughs> really young. Really young. Because it's a cultural thing. You get young women, you get good food. It's true. <laughs> That's a joke you'll have to listen to the first episode for. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you have any questions, or put it in the comments below, or like we said, put it in an email. Oh, Eric, what is that email? No, no, Roman, what's the email? It's citypod88 at gmail.com. Citypod88 at gmail.com. He actually forgets every time. I have to remind <laughs> him by saying it first. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for listening. And to wrap this all up, as we usually say, bye. bye.